Welcome back students to Saraswati School to Bhagavala Pursa. Students, once again I am going to start the topic Story Writing Part 2. So in the previous video you got Story Writing Part 1. So now today we will discuss one story, one more story in this video. That story what? It is about Foolish people. What do you call foolish people? Twelve foolish people. They were people, but what kind of foolish? They were foolish. Okay. Let's see how are they? How to call people foolish? How are they foolish people? Let's see my story. Dear students, here I am giving you points. From the points, we need to start story. But dear students, if you remember, for writing the story, we need to remember characters and we need to remember the tense. What? Past tense. We need to use here past tense for writing story. Dear students, let's see. First of all, we will start point. So here the title is Write a story. Person who was lost. When they come, there were only 11. 
11 but in real they were 12 people 12 meters so your passer by he had the lost man how let's see to the story the viewers thankful to him so the all the 12 all the 12 viewers they thank passer by for what for helping them to find the lost man and what is the moral of the story so dear friends let's start our story how to frame sentences please okay so first 12 viewers 12 viewers so dear students you can start once upon a time what you can start once upon a time once upon a time so first point you can see your first point once upon a But the person who is counting, he forgets himself. 
So when you count two or three times, there are only eleven. So we can say that these are full leaves. We want. So another person, another person counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Only eleven. Again third person counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So again eleven. They counted three times, but there were only eleven persons. Why? Because the person who was counting, he forgot himself to count as a twelve number. That's why there were only eleven. Eleven. All were it. So all the twelve people. In reality, there were twelve people. But they, when they counted, there were only eleven. Why? Because the person who counted himself, he forgot to count himself. So all the twelve, all the twelve viewers, they were worried. They were worried. And they were sad also. They thought that one person, one person might have drawn in the river, might have drawn in the river. They were very sad. Okay, they were very worried. So during that time, meanwhile, a passerby, a passerby, a passerby happened to travel. A passerby happened to travel. So they. The passerby came. The passerby came, and he offered his help to all the twelve viewers, and he told also that I can help you. I can help you for getting the twelfth person. So here the passerby he he started. He started to count twelve. He started to count twelve by giving, by giving, by giving a blow on the each person's back. By giving a blow on each person's back, and all the people counted twelve, twelve stroke, twelve stroke. So when the people heard this. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he counted like this way. He gave a blow on the each person's back, and he counted twelve persons. So when they counted twelve, all the twelve people they were very. Happy, the viewers happy. The viewers were happy, and they thank, they thank to him. They thank to him. They were very thankful. They were very thankful to the passerby. Why? Because passerby helped them for finding the lost man. Okay, students. So this is the story. We can say they were in reality. So yes, once we can say that what is the moral? So you can say foolishness. What do you call foolishness? Is a threat to life. Foolishness is dangerous to life. That is the moral of the story. Foolishness is a threat to life. So students, now let's see the full story on the board. Okay. Students, let's have a full story on the board. Okay, I'm going to read. Just try to listen to me carefully. The title of the story is "To a Weaver," because this story revolves around this "To a Weavers." So, once upon a time, to a weavers set out on a long journey to a camp. So twelve viewers they set out on a long journey to attend marriage. Set out means start. They had to swim across a river. They had to cross river for going to another village. They thank God when they reached the 
other bank. When they reach the other bank of the river, they thank God for keeping them safe. But they wanted to count themselves before resuming their journey. So all the twelve people, twelve rivers, they wanted to count themselves. Are they twelve or not? Before starting the journey again. Resuming means to start again. So each forgetting himself counted eleven. So all the twelve people, each person counts. But what happens? The person who counts, he forgets himself to count. Just for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The person who is counting, he forgets himself to count. That's why eleven we want. So all the persons, they did this thing three times. But they counted only 11 rivers, so they were sad. They were sad. They were very sad. They became unhappy and began to weep. And they began to weep. It means they began to cry. That time, a passerby happened to pass by. That time, a passerby, one traveler, you can say one person, happened to pass by that when the twelve rivers that he asked them what had happened. So the passerby asked all the people who were there, who were counted themselves, what had happened. They told him the whole story. So they told him the whole story that we cross river that time we were 12 people, but when we cross river and we reach to the other bank of the river, we were only 11. One person is missing. So that time, the passerby he laughed at their foolishness. At their foolishness. So the passerby, he started to laugh. Because he knew that there were 12 people. There were 12 people. So what he did? He said that he could produce a missing man. So he said that I could, I could find the missing man. Then he counted twelve by giving each a blow on the back. By giving each a blow on the back and he counted one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like this way, he counted twelve rivers. Twelve rivers. And all the twelve rivers, they thanked him for his kindness and took their way to journey. So all the twelve rivers, they were happy when they become twelve. Students, here we can say all the twelve rivers they were foolish. They were foolish. So, dear students, here the moral, the moral of the story is foolishness. What we call foolishness is a threat. Is a threat to life. It means foolishness is dangerous. Is dangerous to life. So students, you can see the whole story on the board. Let's see. So I hope students, you understood this story writing part 2. I hope you got it. So dear students, now see you soon in the next video. Goodbye and try to understand not understand watch the video again you will get okay thank you